What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the iProv Log. Uh, Pat and I are back. I'm hey! <laughs> With iProv, VP of Sales and Marketing, we've got Pat, our uh, COO of iProv. What's up, Pat? How are you? I'm doing great, Joe. How about you? Uh, uh, I feel very replaceable with uh, last week and uh, combined with what Greer and Jake did yesterday, uh, which if you guys have not watched it, uh, pause this video, go watch that one, then come back and watch this one. It was a good one. Uh, yeah, they made me very proud. Uh, it was, it, you know, it's, it's, it was nice to hear that uh, they like working at the company uh, that we run. Uh, that, that always makes you feel good. Um, you know, and, and I think that that's really important. And I think it ties in perfectly with our topic today. Um, and because culture is a big driver about, of what we want to talk about today. Yeah, which is today, and we just talked about this recently, uh, yeah. like yesterday, which is why we said this is a good topic to talk about, which is um, sales and marketing should be everybody's job in your organization, right? Not just for the sales and marketing department, and, you know, even the, even the guy who sweeps the floors. We want to talk a little bit today about, um, you know, the difference between having a real sales organization. Yeah, I, exactly. Uh, and you couldn't have, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, it, it, selling your company is everyone's job, from the CEO down to uh, the person that manages your telephones. Because uh, every little interaction, every little touch point uh, is a chance to market your company. Uh, and to show the market uh, that you're a uh, business worth doing business with. You know, we talk about that a lot. Um, and, and, and so sort of putting you yourself as a leader of a business and, and your people in that mindset, look for those little touch points, look for those little opportunities where uh, an interaction with a customer can go negative and figure out a way to always make them positive. Um, you know, but whether it's empowering your people to uh, you know, spend money uh, for an angry customer uh, or just, you know, the way that you sign off on your emails, just, you just almost can't get too granular with this stuff. You know, this is, this is one of those things that, uh, that where Paul Graham from Y Combinator says, do things that won't scale. This is one of those things, you know. Everybody thinks of sales and marketing as, as a role in their organization, and it is. Uh, and it is, you know, the, the job of selling is somebody's job, but sales and marketing is everyone's job. That's a core belief of mine, and I know it is of yours. Uh, and I think if more businesses thought and functioned that way and encouraged their uh, or built their company culture in an intentional way, to encourage their employees and their team uh, to think that way, uh, there'd be a whole lot more successful businesses out there. Well, and nowadays, especially, you run into uh, a lot of people and sales is kind of a dirty word. They don't wanna be looked at or known as a salesperson. Um, so kind of helping your organization and everybody in the organization redefine kind of what that means. No, I'm not. I'm not telling you that you have to go out and cold call. I'm not telling you you have to, what, what I am telling you as a leader in the business is that every engagement with a person on the street, a current client, uh, whatever the case may be, is a sales opportunity. Every, every time you meet somebody in the community, whether they know about us or not, is another opportunity to sell them on our vision and why our organization uh, is the type of organization that either they need to do business with um, or they need to find people who could do business with us. Every opportunity well, you have in front of somebody is a sales opportunity. Well, and I would say it's, it even goes to the, it, it even goes into the things that are in the back office that nobody sees or that are on the factory floor. Yep. Uh, you know, having a focus on quality uh, for, for things like manufacturers, uh, making sure that every product that leaves uh, your facility is the best product that it possibly can be and and make and sort of demonstrating the care put into that product uh, at, at the at the customer level uh, it, it you know that sort of stuff is a, is a function of sales and marketing too it, it, that goes back to you know the, the idea that uh, you know Steve Jobs dad told him that you know the, the back of the cabinet is just as important as the front of the cabinet and that lesson translated into uh you know the way that 
things like the, the inside of Apple computers and their devices are laid out on the boards. Uh, those little intentional things that nobody ever sees uh, all add up in the aggregate to, uh, to increase sales, uh, you know, customer goodwill, and, and ultimately, uh, you know, the, the place in the market that you want to be in. So do things that don't scale, do things that uh, people will never see you do. Uh, and as long as you're focused on providing those uh, unbelievably positive uh, experiences for customers, you're going to be fine, even if you don't spend a dollar on that. No, every I like the I like the product concept too. Every touch point with somebody is an opportunity to show them why they should either spend their time, money, attention, or all three with you. And if you're not being deliberate about it, um, they're not going to do those three things with your organization. Yeah, it goes back to the four P's. It's not just about promotion. You've got to focus on product, uh, place, uh, and price too. So. I love it. So find as many ways to prove your value and sell yourself to those folks. So that's the lesson for today. Short and sweet. Every organization is a sales organization and every person in that organization is a sales and marketing person, whether they want to or not. Often as leaders, you just have to make sure that there's deliberate effort towards it, just like anything else. So, all right. Well, that's Friday. Everybody have a good weekend. Pat. I'll see you on Monday and uh, everybody else, uh, comment, like, share. Peace, peeps.